Yo, what's up everybody? I go by the name of DJ Odyssey and welcome to The Breakdown with DJ Odyssey. And today we're doing, and I'm a piano beat again. Uh, I've just made this. You know, it's not like 100% finished, but it's just to show you how to break down such a beat. You know what I mean? And then so we're doing like, I'm a piano, like Boma, Semi T, you know, um, Miano, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, something that, it's not like for singers, but for those guys that sound quite uh, like, uh, sound like more like um, rap, like what can Spanish verse they got? So man, this is it. I'm a piano on this level. So now we gonna break this down. Um, firstly, we are going to my kick, which had a snare on it, uh, which had eight bars on it. So let's play this pattern and let's hear how it sounds like hey let's go uh, let's take down this snare and then let's hear and then you put the snare on it and it sounds like this uh-huh let's do and on my second pattern um is like my percussions in a way with a tom in the inside and then this how is they sound like and normally this is how you start the the song without that kick and the snare so this will be your intro you just find the little um sound uh, piano or whatever that you can use after this, um, and then my other sound is a crash, the same crash that I used on my previous um, tutorial with uh, doing on my piano as well. And the track for me again, um, this is this, this is the this is the crash. And then what you do, you drag it again, drag it like that, and then so it comes in every four bars on top of and after this pattern uh, is these, uh, well, what do we call these things? Uh, shakers. So this is how this shaker sounds like. And then this one sounds like this. So I kind of pen, I like pen them to different sides. Uh, so that they can they can be they can sound proper you know what I mean and then more dynamic not, not, not really sound proper even one can work and then you put a stereo enhancer inside and then you will hear how nice it sounds so but for now I use two and then the other one sounds a little bit to the left the other one sounds a little bit to the right and then uh, as usual my next sound did uh, this. I used the yeah, boo. Sounds like this. Yeah, nice. And then it crash reversed it, and then you have some kind of a riser. And then you know the obvious thing as well is this. Um, for intervals of the song. And then, before I get to the bass, like, I don't want to get to the bass line now. I just want to start with this one. Uh, so, yeah, let me take this bass and put it as the last pattern. And then come here. And then now let's let's break down the other sounds. So, coming to Nexus, I used Hollywood's violins. What did I say? Hollywood violins, right? In classical Hollywood violins. And then this is how 
it actually sounds like. Pretty obvious, pretty straight for the intro, works fine for me. And the next pattern, um, it's your saxophone going ba ba as, as usual, like I'm a piano, like any other I'm a piano fit. And yeah, it goes straight like that. And then the next pattern that I used, uh, I used dense leads. And then arpeggiate me. So this arpeggiate, it's a lead. Um, and then just let me play for you how it sounds. And let me show you the, the, the MIDI. Pretty dope, right? And then the next thing I had was uh, another lead. A simple beat though, you know. I use super saw this time and it goes like this. And then it goes up. And then did I miss something? Before before the bass, um there should be this pattern here that I did not it's that first pattern. So this is another pattern. Um, it's like a low synth that I used. Um, it's the same one that I used. The one that I did not tell you. It's, okay, it's, it's Hollywood violins as well. And then that's how it sounds like this time. And that drives the song. And then the last thing that I said, the bass, I used the lock drum. So what happens with the lock drum is you increase the decay, uh, you increase this waveform until you get a nicer sound, the one that you can hear. It's not like boosting, it's like making it audible. As a bass line that will be like audible in the song. And then you will be audible and then the moment you put other effects on top of it and everything will be sounding like yeah man how did you make that bass sound like that you know so it's it's one of those and then let me show you the midi and then it's a lock drum and then let me play it for you Amazing, right? And then, now, that's about it. And then, we'll play the song for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Another thing, I just dropped an EP called I'm a Piano Resident. Check it out. Uh, it has a lot of I'm a Piano songs in it. So, um, I mean, support the boy. And then the FLP of this will be available on the description. The link to my EP will be available in the description. Um, what else? Yeah, man. Check out my... my your subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. More content coming. Free FLP. Next time I'll make a beat from scratch. Thank you, everybody. It's a boy signing out. Let me play you the song now, you know. Uh, if you add anything on the FLP and then you want to send it back to me send it back to me that's my email on the description as well um let's collab or something so let's work let's go